Naturally TC. I'm coming at you with another video. This is going to be a product review. I am going to review Diva Curl. Um, I purchased this product. I have their shampoo conditioner, also their leave-in conditioner, and their twisting cream. So I will show them all to you like throughout the video. But I've used it on a couple of my clients here at the salon and it actually proved to be really moisturizing. I noticed that one of my clients had a really great shine on her hair after I used it and I even used it on one of my relaxed clients. So, well, I used the leave-in conditioner on her. So I'm gonna do it on my hair. I have 4C hair. It's good and nappy, yes, nappy and natural. Um, you can see my leave out is like really straight. So we'll see if, thanks Tiara, we'll see if it reverts back <laughs> after I shampoo and condition it. I'm actually going to do a steam treatment on my hair as well. Um, if it doesn't re revert, <laughs> it's perfectly okay because I cut my hair off all the time and heat damage is not like a thing for me. Like I'm probably going to end up um, wearing my hair straight most of the time once it grows out anyway. So just watch the video and we'll see how the product works on my hair. All right. So this is their no poo shampoo and that means that it really doesn't have a lather. So it's almost like a conditioning cleanser. So you have to really make sure that you're going in on those roots and that your scalp is actually getting clean. And so that's what I did. I did about three shampoos because I had a quick wave in before I did this video. So I had to make sure that, you know, all the glue and oil was out of my hair. So that takes about three shampoos. Now I'm, I've am i put on their conditioner. And what you see me doing here is I'm actually pulling it through from roots to, root to end. Now with natural hair, you have to make sure that you're completely saturating all of your hair. Sometimes you can shampoo, you can condition, and all of your hair doesn't get touched because the hair is so thick. So you have to make sure that you're going in. You saw me do a moisture treatment which is under a steam dryer and what happens is that cuticle opens up and all the moisture is able to get inside the cuticle which causes the hair to be uh, really moisturized really conditioned and it helps so much you need moisture natural hair needs moisture use the leave-in conditioner and their stretching cream. A lot of product lines have stretching creams and usually that's what they're used for is twist outs. Um, some people will use them, you know, if you're doing flat twists, even for some curl, like if you use jerry curl rods or flexi rods, sometimes you can use the creams to do that. But I like to use them most just for the two strand twist. So I'm going in and I'm two strand twisting my hair. That just means that I'm taking two strands of hair and I'm twisting them around each other. Uh, twist outs, usually I will leave them in for a couple of days and then wear my hair untwisted for, you know, the remainder of the week. So you will probably get a good twist out hairstyle if you wear it, twist it for two days and take it out. Probably you can go seven days before you're in a poof by the end of the week. I know clients really don't understand that or you see people with this beautiful natural hair and it's big and all twisted out but they're really retwisting their hair probably every three days some people you know it's not a style that just lasts forever like the the hair gets frizzy humidity hits it all different kind of things happen to the hair so you have to restyle it. So just because you're natural doesn't mean that you don't have to spend time styling your hair. You may even spend more time than people with relaxed hair because the hair doesn't stay in place. And so you're always required to go back in and restyle the hair. So what you see me doing is on my leave out, which is the hair that was straight from when I had the weave in, I'm putting these small jerry curl rods in to make sure that I'm creating that texture and that I don't have like these straight pieces in the front that's what you have to do to make sure that the hair um, looks uniform once the complete style is done so you put those jerry curl rods in and you should be good to go 
So now I sat under a hooded dryer for about an hour to allow my hair to dry. You don't always have to sit under a hooded dryer. If you leave your hair um, damp and then just allow it to air dry, that works as well. If you're gonna be out all day in the sun, perfect. Then your hair can air dry. But if you're not and you want to style your hair the same day as I did on this video, you're gonna have to sit under a hooded dryer. It's best to make sure that your hair dries completely before you go to sleep at night because you don't wanna sleep one with a wet head, but also you don't want that hair to become frizzy. So you need it to completely dry so that it sets. So that's why I said you can wear it for probably two days and then you're gonna get a better set. Why I'm making this face when I'm doing this, I have no idea. I'm using um, our Main Life oil. It's just a mixture of essential oils that is great for the hair. You can find it on our website at mainlifestudio.com. As you see, I am just taking the twists and I am untwisting them. And because I put the oil on my hand because oil is like a sealant, so you could take it through and as you're untwisting or unrathering um, your twist, I just twist backwards you see I'm twisting it backwards so that it opens up and then I'll go ahead and pull it apart this way the hairs that are in the two strands they remain together and then you have those perfect coils so I think I'll do it like one more time but I'm really taking my time I know like when it's going faster it looks like I'm just like taking them apart any kind of way but I'm actually not there is a method I'm taking it I'm un, I'm twisting it backwards so that those two strands come loose and then I'm pulling it apart So you see, I am using a pick comb, like the pick on the ends, to pull up my roots. I'm not combing my twist out or combing or picking through to the ends of my hair. All I'm doing is going in on a root and kind of lifting it up so that one, I'm taking out any partings you may see, but also allowing the hair to be pushed up because the roots are gonna gather together and it's gonna cause your twist to stand up. So that's all I'm going in and doing there. I'm using the shine jam on my edges because it doesn't really leave like much residue and I shampoo my hair often, but if you are not a shampooer, I would not use a lot of excess product because product just builds up in our hair. So I parted it on the side. So this is definitely one way you could wear it. Put, add you a little part right there and create a little style. I went to our glittery, 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 glittery. It's not a word, okay. But our glittery wall so that we could get some looks so you could see how it looks. And there's my twist out. So, the product is really nice. My hair is really moisturized. It feels good. It's soft. I really love it. Or, you know, you can always like put up a side and leave this down. You put up both sides. You know, you put it all up. You know, we like to do our poofs. You can do it all up. Look. <laughs> Me, I'm like, whatever. So yeah, play with your hair, style it up in different ways. Whatever works for you, works for you. You just own it, you own your natural hair and you wear it and you believe that you're beautiful because you really are. Make sure you like and subscribe, hit that bell so that you get the reminders of every time I post. Also follow me on Instagram, NaturallyTC. I post a lot of different stuff on there, not just natural styles. Look me up. I'm in Lake Park, Florida. 
close to the West Palm Beach area, okay? Thank you guys for following. I'll be sure to share.